So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create clean and classic portraits using a white backdrop, two speed lights in a small home studio. So hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So before anything else, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel and would want to learn more about off-camera flash photography or maybe just photography in general, then this channel is for you. So you might want to consider subscribing and while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to see more of my images, you could always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. So welcome once again to my small home studio. And for you guys who are new to the channel, this is basically a very small shooting area. This is only 3.5 meters deep and 2 meters wide. And in this small space, we're going to create some clean, classic portraits using a white backdrop. So the white backdrop that I'm going to use now is just a white seamless paper. However, if you don't have this, any white wall will do. Now I am using two lights. These are two Sony F60RM speed lights. But of course, you don't need to use these speed lights. You could actually use any light that's at your disposal. This Sony F60RM, I have one here. It's connected to the MagMod MagShoe. And it is modified using this one. This is the... Photix Premio 120, where is the logo? It's somewhere there, but this is the Photix Premio 120 umbrella with a front diffuser in front. Inside is basically a silver, the silver fabric. So this is a silver fabric reflective umbrella with a white diffuser in front. Now I have here another Sony F60RM on a backdrop light stand holder. Basically it's a low light stand. Again, on another MagMod MagShoe. Now, let me show you. This MagMod MagShoe is fantastic when it, comes, when it comes to these things because it comes with a cold shoe that allows you to actually mount your hot shoe on top and secure it in place really well. And as you saw, it's very easy for me to actually adjust the direction of my light because all I have to do is depress this area here. Okay? Now, what I have installed on, the Mag, on, the, on this F60RM is the MagMod MagBounce. What the MagMod MagBounce does is that it spreads the light so that it makes it a little bit bigger, or well, not actually a little bit bigger, but bigger, it gives an even distribution of light. This one actually mimics the light coming from an umbrella like this. However, it is this small. The nice thing about that is you can hide it behind your subject and get a nice even distribution of light in the back, giving a nice white backdrop, okay? So now let's go on to my camera. So the camera that I'm using is my Sony A7R Mark IV with an 85mm 1.4 GM lens. I'm using the 85mm because I am shooting a tight portrait and I don't want any distortion. Now as usual, you are seeing everything that my camera is actually seeing through the help of this one. This is my Atomos Ninja V recorder. Therefore, every single image that you will be seeing from here on end is straight out of the camera absolutely no editing has been done or will be done. The edited photos I normally put at the very end of the video. Now my camera is held into place using this one, my fav one of my favorite tripods actually. It is the Peak Design Carbon Fiber Tripod. Now let's go into my settings. I am actually at 1 over 250 f5.6 ISO 100 only for one specific purpose. Number one, Five point, well, two actually. 5.6 because I want everything clear. I would be shooting this at f8, but I think 5.6 should be okay. And I want to remove all my existing ambient light. You can see we have a lot of video lights here in the studio, and I want to remove it. And by having my settings like this, you will see the moment I turn off my flash. Basically, that is what my camera is seeing. It is almost pitch black. In other words, none of these lights will actually affect my image. Now, my white balance is set at 5600 Kelvin because these two speed lights are set at 5600 Kelvin. Now, here's the thing. I will put my light here, okay, right here, and I'll probably tilt it around like this, okay? Put it around here. And this one will be my main light, of course, that will be my background light. Now, I also have here another foam 
Uh, it's just basically a foam board which I will use as a reflector later if I need it to open up the shadows from this side. Okay, now here's the key. That background light should be about a stop higher than your main light, just a stop. Nothing too much, nothing or nothing less. Now, I guess if you guys are familiar with the channel, you know that I don't use a light meter. How do I now get the proper exposure from this to light? Well, basically, it's really what I see here. It would be better if you were tethered, but for this particular purpose, I don't even want to tether because I want to show you from here, you could visually see already more or less if your exposure is right. Now, for me to be able to show you that, I need to call in my model, but today it's not gonna be my wife Coco, but my adorable daughter Wana, and that's the reason why we're doing this video, because we are required to actually shoot some headshots of her for her ballet class. Come on in, Wana, come here. Hi, baby girl. You wanna give daddy a kiss first? Wow, you look so pretty today, Wana. Okay, you go up here. Wow, you know exactly where to go, huh? Perfect, okay, so. My flash settings as of now, just a moment one, okay? My flash settings as of now are both at one half power. Let's do this. Why am I on high speed sync? I'll turn off high speed sync now. And then maybe let's do this. Let's bring this down to one eighth power and this one to one eighth power first. My background light is set on group A and this light is set on group B. So I will actually turn off group B first and take one test shot. That's too weak. So let me see. Let's bring it down now. Uh, let's bring it up, sorry. Let's bring it up to one fourth power. Okay. And then from there, you can see that's still mm, slightly a little bit too weak. So we could now go at one half power. So at one half power, there you go. More or less, you've got a really nice white light already, a white background there. You could see a little bit of um, flare coming through here. Maybe I would actually lift the background out a little so that we, don't, we can control that. Or the best is really just move her forward. But for the purpose of this video, I won't do that because we don't have any space. I'll be out of frame if I do that. But I can just move her away from the light to remove that light from here, okay? Or actually we can. Will I be seen if I move my camera here? I'll be seen. Okay, so Coco's doing, Coco's doing, she's actually the one behind the camera now. Okay, Wana, come here. Go down. Let's move this one. Okay, let's do a test shot. Move here, Wana. Move here, go in here, go in here. All right, there. There, so now we remove the light from here. Now that we have that sorted, let me turn off group A, which is the background light, and turn on group B, put it on manual flash firing. Since I moved her forward, I'll move this one going here. Okay. All right, Wana. So there, you can see at one eighth power, we're slightly underexposed. Bring it up again to one half power. Ah, and that is your correct exposure. Are you bored? Are you bored? No, okay, good. Now you see the shadows there on the side. Wanna, can you move here a little bit? There we go. Get into your post, side view. Side view, yes, and then go this way. There, some more. You gotta move, you gotta move this way. There, all right. So I will show you now a shot you see the shadows on the left side, they're a bit too contrasty, which is why I actually want this one here to remove the shadows or open up the shadows in that side. Okay, that's just an ordinary foam board. It's about 30 by 40. And by doing that, we're opening the shadows beautifully. Now, let's turn on the background light. And beautiful Wana. Beautiful, beautiful. It's that simple. It's just a matter of balancing your light. And by balancing your light, it doesn't necessarily mean, well, it's, well, I don't know. Honestly, a lot of people would say that we should be using a light meter. But for me personally, 
I find that it, it allows me, or oh, thank you very much, Juana. It actually slows me down, so I'd rather visually do it since more or less I can see the exposure that I want. Eventually, you guys will get there, and you, all you have to do is trial and error. So again, in order for us to be able to get a good, nice white background, this light here was about one stop overexposed than this main light. Now, initially, in this small home studio, we had a little bit of light leak on this little cute little face. Now, to solve that, all I needed to do was really move her away from the light. By moving her away from the light, I was, I was able to remove this. Then this one, my Photix 120CM um, umbrella, reflective umbrella with a front diffuser here, served as my main light. Now, having the light this close created beautiful soft light. However, it created a lot of contrast. For me to reduce the contrast, I just put in another foam board here, a 30 by 60, or sorry, 30 by 40 foam board, white foam board, just to open up the shadows here, okay? So that's how simple it is to create a beautiful, simple, classic white backdrop portrait in a small home studio with just two speed lights. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please do subscribe to the channel. And while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, if you want to learn more about off-camera flash photography, I do hold one-on-one -on -one online workshops, the details of which I will put in the description below. Now, if you want to see more of my images, you could always find me where? On Instagram, right? And what's my name? Jiggy Alejandrina. There we go, Jiggy Alejandrina, okay? Tell them till the next video and say bye. Till the next video. Till the next video. <laughs> okay. Bye. Till the next video.